Hey everyone, welcome back to my 3D platformer series, part seven. In this video, we're gonna be going over loading screens. So in the last video, we went over a level select system where you'd have three buttons and you select one of the buttons and it opens up the level. So in this video, we're now gonna add a loading screen so that when you do open up a level, there is some brief time where you'll have a loading screen as well as just to make sure there's like a minimum time so there's always a loading screen. It doesn't have to be significant. You don't even have to use that option if you don't want to. You can have it load immediately once things have loaded. Uh, but if you wanted to show off your loading screens, maybe there's tool tips you want to show for the game, uh, you'd be able to display that for whatever minimum time, let's say you want to do five seconds or 10 seconds, um, or you just want to load it immediately whenever it's available, all those options are available. Luckily, this plugin has amazing customizability and um, there's a lot of options that you could use. I'm not going to go into every functionality it has. I'm going to just show you how quick and easy you can actually make a loading screen and the customizability will be up to you. However, there's amazing documentation. I'll also show you and have the links available in the description to where it will be easily available for you as well. So let's get into it. All right, so right off the bat, this is the plugin that you would want to download if you want to follow along with this video. So this is using the async loading screen. It's a free plugin. Just sign in, download, add to your engine. Uh, it's super easy. They have a trailer, documentation. Highly recommend looking at the documentation. Has amazing stuff. Super easy. Goes into exactly what you can do, as well as the nodes that are available. It's absolutely wonderful. It does display what is available, like these circular throbber. I have throbbers. I hate that word. Uh, and then you also have different type of loading screen examples. You can also have like an animated um, image sequence, which will display there as well, as well as different layouts to show you exactly what is available. So you have the classic layout. You also have the center layout where the throbber is in the center rather than that bottom right corner. You have different uh, what is that letterbox layout throbber at the top or you can have a sidebar where you have the loading screen and on the left you have it available here you can also make it on the right and then you can have the dual sidebar where there's a sidebar on the left throbber on the right etc there's further tutorials available and you'd be able to essentially scroll down see what is available here this is very key to show the loadout that is, or the loading screen that is happening. Make sure to do standalone game. Uh, I'll go over that once I add the plugin as well, but I do want to highlight that that is important. If you do selected viewport, you're not going to see it pop up and it won't work. You can also do gathering images and movies. So as I said, a lot of customizability, a lot of things available. This is completely free, so you can snag that up as well. So from the get-go, what we're gonna want to do is add the plugin. So if you've now added it to your project, make sure to go over here, type in loading. We're gonna hit this, and then you're gonna hit restart now. I'm gonna hit this. All right, and now that I've added the plugin, to just show you really quick, we'll do loading. We'll now see that I do have this added and we're all good to go. So next, it's actually gonna be now really easy. However, I'm gonna just show you just some functionality of it and as well as where you can locate all the functionality. So everything is located into the project settings. So by selecting on project settings, we're gonna select on under game, async loading screen. From here, this is where you'll have the settings to where you can add a startup loading screen as well as if you want to include any type of movie that you want. Now, for movies, it is important to note that under movie paths, you'll have to enter in the entire path minus the extension. So really highlighting that last part, do not include the extension, it will not work. But nonetheless, enter in that, and then you also are able to add more than one. So if you have more movies, 
Let's say you wanted to rotate between three or five or 10. Just make sure to enter in those paths as well as to shuffle. I will not be using any type of movies for this. However, that is important to display as well. Now, next thing is when loading, you can set a minimum time. So if you wanted to display for a certain duration, make sure to select on that. If you are wanting a certain duration, make sure to turn off autocomplete when completes. If you have this turned on, no matter what happens, once the game is fully loaded, it's not gonna hit this time, it's gonna skip it. So especially for movies, you'll want this off. Make sure to set whatever time. Um, and then you can also set if you want movies to be skippable. So if you have a 15 second startup, you want to display that movie. However, um, let's say the player wanted to skip, they are able to do so as well. So just make sure to keep that in mind. I'm gonna just set this for, keep it as three seconds. Another thing is under preload background images. We want to turn this on. If this is off, you could have some issue where loading the background image may take some time and you'll get basically the default stuff. We don't want that. So it's key to make note of that. You also can control the movie playback so you can loop it or loop the last playback, whatever you want. Uh, I'm not going to go too in depth with um, startup loading screen as well as I'm not going to be touching movies here. There's great tutorials out there. I just want to show you that making a loading screen is very easy because technically speaking, as of right now, we can add an image and we quote unquote have a loading screen. So for a startup loading screen to show you very briefly, we're going to just go to background under images, make sure to add a index from here. I'm going to just add the random image that I added under loading widget. This is essentially the throbber. This is um, to display whatever is loading. And you can set it based on either throbber, circular throbber, or an image sequence. Image sequence is the most popular where you can add in your own throbber basically. So if you animated anything, I believe I saw a video where somebody showed um, a 60 frame image sequence where he had it rotate based on a frame. So he had 60 images, one for each frame, and then he just upload all of them, make sure they're in order. So by doing that, I believe you go under image sequence here and just make sure to add in all of those frames into here. I believe you can just drag and drop as well, saves you some a lot of time. I'm not going to be doing this here. We're just going to leave the circular throbber. You can also go over here where you can add in a number of pieces. Let's just say 10. Let's just say two periods of a radius of who oh, let's do 124 or 128. So now let's just display this. Oh, also one last thing for show widget overlay. Make sure this is always turned on, otherwise you're not gonna see the background or anything of the sorts. Next thing is key to make sure you're under standalone game. It's very important. Give it one second to load. Do, do, do. Get there one day. There we go. To do, give it one second, and we'll see that we had our loading screen briefly pop up. Now, I also want you to pay in mind where we saw the first few seconds, there was the default image. This is merely something that happens during um, <laughs> the editor, but it does not occur during a package scan. And it's actually something it notes as well, because if you over on top of here, under preload background images. This issue only happens in standalone or launch mode. The package game should work fine. Now you can always package your game and use it. And 
take a look yourself. I tested it out myself just to make sure that it did in fact work. It does. I didn't run into issues. If you did run into issues, uh, I suggest looking into the documentation. But as I said, it's very easy to have a load up screen. Now, let's do our default loading screen. So I'm actually going to be using the same image. Super easy. Let's go into XYZ. I have fill. And for loading screen, minimum of five seconds. Um, I'm not going to have a loading screen skippable. That doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> but nonetheless, let's go into loading widget. We got circle throbber. That looks good. All right. Show widget display. It's turned on. Show loading complete. And loading widget. Let's see, boom, boom, boom. Awesome. And I have it set to center. So super easy. You can customize all of these settings. You can change the transform translation, the scale, the pivot. You can change the appearance as such. So if you want to change the color, font, shadow, whatever you would want. You can also change the text alignment, loading icon alignment. There's a lot of customizability. If you actually scroll all the way to the bottom, this is where you see all of the layouts. So this is the classic, the center, and you can actually change the border padding, the tip alignment. You can adjust all of this. It is really amazing stuff. I recommend to take a look, customize however you want and enjoy it. So with that, let me actually open up my main menu. We're still on standalone game, opening this. just like that weird loading screen bam and then now we'll select on our level select on level one now we have our loading screen we even have the little throbber it's great bam pressing q so that i can do this again showing you that it does in fact work awesome so with that it's really easy to make a loading screen Honestly, to shorten this entire video, I could have done in 60 seconds, maybe even less. You turn on the plugin, the async loading screen, you throw on an image, and you open a level. Since I actually didn't do anything to the level select that I did last time. So under graph, we're opening level and we're printing screen. I didn't touch any code. All I did was add in that plugin and we were good to go. So yeah, that's how we can do a loading screen. Um, if you guys have any questions, can't figure something out, um, feel free to leave a comment. But ultimately, the plugin should be pretty easy. Documentation's wonderful. But tune in next time. Thanks, guys.